Hello and welcome back to another KSP2 video. Uh, today we're just trying to launch some satellites, uh, basically build out a comm network. I wanted to see the logistics of the con uh, com comms network in uh, KSP2 because, you know, in KSP1 it shows the nice lines, you can change your, uh, your little uh, icons for the crafts to uh, probes or satellites, things like that. You can just kind of like hide them away, but you will have connection, and uh, you can you can really build out a substantial network this way, um, even in uh, sandbox mode. So I wanted to see how well uh, you could do this in uh, KSP2. So I built a rocket that had a quite the high thrust to weight ratio. And I also had it so it had a whole bunch of satellites set up on the inside. Um, and this is where I noticed my first problem. As you can see, there's no truss structure in the fairings anymore. So I couldn't uh, I couldn't separate them up, which which was a a slight problem, uh, if you can tell. Uh, so I just stacked them on top of each other. I uh, thought that that would be, uh, thought that that would be fine. Yeah, um, not really. So, uh, here we go. I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit here, and then I'm going to separate out one and the Kraken attacks. So it gets stuck right here. I try to control from there, and it didn't. It didn't connect to Comsnet. Which is weird because it should. Uh, it's more than an, it's more than set up enough to do anything with Comsnet. So I tried uh, disconnecting it, and I even looked up on the internet how to do it. And then I separated it by uh, just uh, fast forwarding, and uh, it still wouldn't. It it did connect finally. But it was like, I had to fast forward and all of this stuff. It was just a pain. And then, uh, here we go. We burned towards, you know, a higher orbit. And then we uh, set up our circularization burn. And then we uh, zoomed out to there. And here is that burn. And, uh, I basically, that's when I was looking for the, uh, the capsule difference thing and it just didn't exist. But here's the more frustrating part. <laughs> Out of nowhere, this craft's velocity just decided to not exist. Yeah, no more, no more horizontal velocity. It's like it hit a brick wall all of a sudden. It's just falling straight down. Um, I tried to boost it. I... I didn't realistically think this would work. I thought, May hey, maybe I could like land it, but no, the the thrust away ratio isn't high enough. So I tried detaching a couple of the probes, and that didn't work. Um, yeah. So you got that amazing sight, and yeah, it just, uh, yeah, the kraken, the kraken is brutal in KSP two. Uh, it, it, it's been rough. So here's my second satellite. I decided to just do one at a time. And, uh, here it is just rocketing off the pad. Uh, yeah. So I, uh, it ended up flipping. Uh, but, you know, I got it to be fine. Uh, here it is going all the way up, you know into space pretty high uh it this this rocket was a little bit overkill but i i kind of wanted it to get a little bit further out than just i wanted to go to uh g uh keo stationary orbit but uh it's kind of hard to know that when you can't tell the uh the length of your burn uh like you can't tell the the information of your uh like uh, orbital period 
because for some reason right now it's in meters per second. Don't know why. Um, should be in hours, but it's not. So here we are, just you know, fast forwarding through the through the attempt. Not fast forwarding, but you know what I mean. Uh, so here we are building up our. Uh, Apple apps or yeah and then we're going to fly out uh to what's approximately uh Keo uh stationary orbit it's my best guess on what could be it but it's it ends up being wrong um I end up boosting it from this orbit uh it's kind of hard to tell Specifically because you need to, um, it's kind of hard to tell what, uh, what three, uh, is it 3000 kilometers above is when you can't snap the periapsis and the apoapsis to the maneuver node. So you have no clue how high you're going. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a problem. This game definitely has its problems. Uh, I uh, I don't see it with as much rose tinted uh, glasses uh, as I did when it first came out. Um, I'm still going to keep playing this game, and I think my next video I'm going to do a mission in KSP one, and then compare it to a mission the exact same mission in KSP two, and we'll basically see how it goes for both missions uh yeah it's uh it'll be an interesting video i think i'll i'll post it this upcoming weekend i know it's weird that this one's coming out on pi day yeah it's coming out on pi day so 3.14 yeah I know you Europeans, any Europeans who are watching this don't actually even get Pi Day. 